start doing the pan we have a couple of bags mixed up here it's easier to mix one at, at a time um, but if you do want to do two basically if you take a look here this is what we have we bought this pan you can get this from home depot or from any home improvement store lowe's um, and basically put the water in first and then just add a little bit of sand mix at a time and then it's not as hard to mix um, you want to get it to a consistency where it's not wet but you can make a, a snowball with it and so that's pretty 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 much it it seems pretty dry but that's how it's supposed to be um, the other thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to use this this is called a magnesium trawl you can get this inside the concrete section at uh, any of the home improvement stores um, so really what we're going to do is we're going to start scooping it out and I'm going to start doing the edges first um, and I'm wearing gloves because you don't really want to get your hands in this I mean you can but it's not really good so I just get some nitrile gloves you can get them from pretty much anywhere Home Depot Walmart just gonna dump some now it's getting lighter you can use a shovel too but just scoot it around the edges to get yourself enough there I'm putting way too much in there right now now I'll take a 2 by 4 and I got one that I cut here that is pretty close to the width of this room or this wall now I'm going to pack it down real good Just gonna take this two by four and now I'm gonna smack it with my rubber mallet until I get down to that line. You can use a hammer too, but it's definitely easier to use a rubber mallet. Now I'm just gonna scrape it away a little bit. And I want to make sure that there's not any gaps underneath that 2x4. And, and you'll see in a minute when I pull it out that you can scrape it some more. But just make sure you look down your line. Looks like I went down a little too much right here which is fine because you just pack it back in now it looks pretty good now I'm just gonna pull it forward a little bit and you can see that it left a nice mark now I'll scrape some of this out of here just make sure I don't disturb it too much there it's not I'm gonna go around with the 2x4 again we're just kind of getting a grasp of where it needs to be right now but I know that it's gonna bevel down a little there so now I'll go to the next side and do the same thing Okay, same thing. I'll wipe it away a little bit here, and then I'll pack it back in there. Let's see where the edge is. Let's 
see that this works pretty good. I'll just pull it out. You can see how it left a nice level mark. It evened up with that pretty close, and I'll just we'll tweak all this a little bit as long as I get it somewhat to where you want it. And then if it's sticking way up, just smooth some of it away. I got another 2x4 right here that's about the same. And if you need to add some in a spot, just toss it in there. It's going to pack in there nice. You can see there, that's pretty good. Pull it forward and use this as a screed. Okay, I didn't put this top piece on yet because I wanted that line to line up correctly like we drew it when we drew it. So it didn't have that piece on when I drew it. So that's why I didn't put that on yet. But this still will get some cement board. Okay, I took this off, this piece right here, and I just taped around there because we're going level with this. Not with this. This is going to go level with the tile. So that was able to just come right off. And I spread some more sand around. Now I'm going to use the 2x4 that has the line on it. And basically, just come right down with this too. Can you see that? Okay, so now I'll screed that out. I'll come over here, make sure I don't pound too much over there. Just try to get that back to where it's supposed to be. And that actually took a little too much of a pound. It's better for it to be a little harder for you to stamp it down so that you know then you have enough sand in there so don't be afraid to stick some more on there and force it down you want to make sure you pack this stuff down good okay same thing over here Okay, now something I should tell you too is I knew that this is the side, the longer one, but you should probably mark the side with X's so you remember which way it went. I knew this was up. Okay, it, it looks pretty good. And I'm looking around and it looks like everything looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna take a two by four and try to screed it a little bit and smooth it out. Okay, so we basically got a good start of it now. So we will be going around it again with the 2x4. But now I'm going to bring it to the edge here. just really want to make sure that I pack this underneath this drain good and the reason why is so that drain never moves. And just start to try to slope it a little bit the way that you think that it should be and I'm going to kind of show you in a minute here what I'm going to use to make sure that I get the proper slope from there to the drain. But it's time for a little more sand in there. Now I'm just going to try to float it out even. And I'm not really pressing too hard right now. 
I know I need to stamp it down too, so I'm just trying to get it even before I start getting too crazy with packing it. It's just easier to pack it down and add a little bit here and there once you get towards the end because some of it's going to get scraped out anyway. But when you get it close, then I'm going to show you. We're going to grab a string and stretch a string around here. And then we're going to check our edges, of course, again, and make sure that everything is still where it's supposed to be. So I'm sure that will have to do a little adjusting. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a board in here. Now I'm going to take this 2x4, and I'm going to make sure we're all good again. to just make sure that it's not gapped underneath when I do that okay so you can see I'm a little high on both sides on the edge where the outer part the ins inside now is fine but so I'm scraping some away actually pretty darn, pretty darn good the other thing that's really going to help you here is when you get this evened out like we're trying to do right now it's going to make it so much easier for you so much easier for you when you're doing your tile installation um, to have a level perimeter for when you're putting your tile up on the wall. So taking the time to make this perfect is fine. And you got plenty of time with the sand mix. It's not like concrete, it's not gonna dry up on you, or floor fill, it's not gonna dry up on you in 10 minutes. And the key is, is follow the instructions on that bag and do not mix more water than what you need when you start getting this too wet it's really hard to work with it doesn't go this smooth the drier almost the better it seems like now that we got our outside and passed it a little bit pretty good let's see how we do in the middle now what I use here is a string and as all I do is I find the drain and I know that I'm even on the outside of it and I just put one finger down on the drain and I stretch it across to the wall and that gives me an idea of if I need to shave some off So I know I'm a little high right there. The other thing you can do too is because it's a small area, you can kind of see if there's humps with the 2x4. And just keep it on the lip. And you can see I'm pretty high in the middle. show you. you see how it kind of is sticking up right there there's a bump right there so now I'm just scraping the center 
but you don't want to skate too much out that you're going to have a pocket but that's what we're going to keep checking with the string i'm going to pull some of this out just use this trawl This is kind of by feel too, just feeling if it's, if you got a hump when you come across it. I'm just smoothing it out again right now to see one more time how even it is and where I need to add or take away. So this is where the string really comes in now. And I just lift it up and see if it touches somewhere before I touch the back. Looks pretty good there. You can just kind of stretch it along. Let your finger, let it run out of your finger. You'll see. I'm just running along the back wall. You'll see. Just keep, keep jacking it. It's easier to start at the short spot and go along. You can let the string slide as you move. Right there. A little bit of a hump right here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to go around with the 2x4 one more time, make sure we're all good along the edges. Good there. I'm just looking to see if there's any gaps. So once I get it to a point where I know it's pretty smooth. Then I'm going to get some water and we're going to spray it and do one final spray or one final smoothing after we spray it. filling around the drain so it's nice and even with it. We want that water to flow in there if it gets underneath the tile. Okay now before I spray it you can see there's some spots here and there what you can do is just sprinkle a little on and these don't have to be perfect because thin set really is forgiving it's going to help you with some spots like that so if this sometimes trying to perfect it isn't gonna isn't good but i'm going to show you right now what you do i got a water bottle here is all it is is water and you just want to make sure you spray this really good and that's what's going to make the surface get nice and strong and it won't be brittle <clears throat> You see where this bottle's from, right? Just, just saying. <laughs> I, I'm not shy in this last step. I mean, you don't want to have water pouring out of it, but make sure you get her nice and good. Now I'm not digging. I'm just smoothing. Just 
I usually use like a garden sprayer for this, but I wanted you to see that you could do it with just a normal water bottle. So if you have a garden sprayer, fill it up with water and give her a good dose of water on it. make sure if you ever add any that you spray that spot really good with water otherwise it's not going to hold so and then just to be sure I spray it really good again instead of trying to smooth it you just when you get in these smaller spots and you're doing the final, just tap it. Because you know you already have it flat. Okay, so that's how we do a shower pan. We'll talk more about this tomorrow, um, how we're gonna go around and make sure that it's all smooth and if we need to do any tweaking to it. And then we'll waterproof it. We need to waterproof uh, after it dries a couple of days, but that's why I do the shower pan now so that I can start working on walls and stuff. And then we'll worry about the shower pan when it completely dries.